Energy Leveler is 16-channel analog automation system with convenient features for better studio integration. Regardless its automation engine, it also brings analog saturation per each channel which helps tracks to get more presence in the mix. NG Leveler doesn't have any controls, but it is manageable via DEW plugin, external controller or both at the same time. So right now I will open NG Leveler plugin and explain some of its features. Currently I have opened Pro Tools Session, but we support all major DAWs available on the market. So that being said, we also support VST2, VST3 and Audio Unit plugin formats. So to connect NG Leveler plugin with the hardware you need, we have to select proper ID from the drop-down menu. And one important thing to mention is that there is no real limitation when it comes to the number of units that can be used in scope of one session. Basically, we can use as many as we would like. So right now I'm going to connect with the hardware unit. As you can see, all current settings from the device has been downloaded into the plugin. So everything right now is in sync. And from plugin perspective, uh, we can control any parameter of NG Leveler for each channel. So we can control level, we can engage passive attenuation of 6 dB, we can solo or mute channel, we can engage total harmonic distortion, which basically is a saturation circuit, and also we can choose how two neighbor channels will work together. So right now it is true dual mono mode, we can engage through stereo mode, we can also link channels relatively, And we can also link channels in the opposite way. We also can link to stereo channels in opposite way. And we can change each label for each channel. And now what is really important, that NG Leveler can be also integrated with external controllers. So from the controller level, we can change the level of each channel, we can solo or mute, we can engage THD, we can engage stereo mode or dual mono mode. Now let's jump into the NG Leveler metering. I will send some dummy signal to NG Leveler. To do so I will create a hardware insert in Pro Tools. So now, as you can see, signal is received by NG Leveler. It is processed and then it's going back to the DAW. And a metering on NG Leveler was created to give you an idea how changing the level of particular channel affects the output signal. And if I will start moving this fader on the plugin, you can also notice that output signal will change accordingly. Now I would like to explain how automation works in NG Leveler. Because NG Leveler is fully managed via the AW plugin, we can also automate any parameter of this particular plugin. So I will add some example automation lane for the stereo drum bus. So let's enable plugin automation. We are going to automate channel 3 and 4 as a stereo, that's why we will choose only channel 3. Now let's select this particular parameter, which is channel 3 level. And I will draw some example line. So as you can see, plugin followed the automation lane and so did NG Leveler. Now let's use a plugin to draw the automation lane. I will use a touch mode for this basic example. So now we can see that the automation lane is recorded. And because NG Leveler is integrated with external controllers, we can also use a controller to write the automation line. So 
So now we can see our line is also recorded. Now I would like to show you some real life examples. On my left there is rack full of NG500 units, NG leveler and a summing box from Loop Trotter. Now I will open Protal session and automatically I will recall all our units. Now I would like to explain your setup because it can be a little bit confusing. In Pro Tools session I've created some auxiliary tracks and each of those tracks sends signal via ADAT output into two Calypso units. Then Calypso does the digital to analog conversion and signal is sent internally to each slot of Titan chassis. So we have 16 channels of processing via West Audio units, then signal goes into NG leveler. In this presentation, any level modification via fader move or automation will be performed on this stage in analog domain. After NG leveler processing, signal is sent to the loop trotter summing box, it is summed into stereo track and sent back to the DAW. What I would like to emphasize is that having compressors right after the DAW and before the summing stage prevents us from doing any automation. And the reason for that is, if we would like to do the automation in DAW, then we would affect how the compressors behave because we would change the input signal of the compressors. And this is not what we want to do. We would like to have automation after the compressors and before hitting the summing stage. So now let's get into the session. I will play you a few moments of this song so we get the idea. I will keep this preset A as a reference. So I will copy current preset to the preset C and I will start from here. So now I will move all the faders down. So let's try to get the right balance. Now we got some basic level balance and what I can hear that the stereo guitar track is still a little bit out of balance. I mean that the right channel level is a little bit higher than the left channel. And this is actually a very good example of how we can use relative linking to remedy that. So let me solo guitar track and I will try to get the balance right. Now when we got some basic level balance, I think it's good time to add some automation. I will try to make background vocals louder when the chorus come in. So I will add automation for track 13, which is background vocals. I will switch automation mode to touch. And I will use this Yukon controller to record the automation.
let's hear it. So as you can see, our analog automation is properly recorded into Pro Tools session. Now I will show you how the THD works. So I will create another preset with exactly the same level balance and I will set THD for all channels to high. And I will toggle between those two presets when the song will play, so you can hear the difference. Let's hear it. My name is Michael from Us Audio and I would like to thank you for staying with me for this entire presentation. If you have any other questions, please contact us via email.